change and then look to the speed window, which will become relevant at a thousand feet. I'll freeze it there and I'll share with you why. There's go around, toga, speed window closes. We would be setting the go around thrust right now, or the auto throttle really would. And then flaps 15, positive rake, gear up, 400 feet. We do a roll mode, which is gonna be LNAV. And we're gonna follow the magenta line out to the hold, which is Deer Park over here. Now, let's go to the FMA for a second. I froze it, okay? Remember, auto throttle, roll, we're talking columns now. Auto throttle column, roll column, pitch column. The auto throttle right now is giving us what kind of thrust? Go around thrust, right? Roll mode engaged at 400 feet RA minimum. And then toga is giving us 15 degrees nose up flight director. That's what we're seeing right here, right now. Think about the takeoff profile for a second. Takeoff profile, positive rate, gear up, 400 feet, LNAV. Really nothing has changed in terms of the profile until we get to a thousand feet, which is coming up here. And when we get there, think about on a takeoff, what would you normally say at a thousand feet? On a takeoff, 1,000, here we go, we're at 1,000. From earlier this morning, what do you remember? G, say it, what happened? N1, N1 bug up. You know, flaps up speed and then clean up. Yeah, N1 bug up, N1 says speed. Your, your company's gonna tell you what they want you to say, but it'll probably be something to the effect of N1 bug up or something like that, right? Which translates into what? Climb thrust, accelerate. Yeah. This is thrust, thrust reduction, reduction, acceleration altitude. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's use that call out for a second and let's see how it, how it doesn't work very well. Okay, I just wanna play this out for a second. Let's say you go N1. I can push it, nothing's gonna happen. Remember what N1 does. It's a thrust reduction from what? From takeoff to climb thrust, right? I'm already yes. at go around thrust. This is an already reduced thrust setting. So that's why we're not pushing that here. So there now, will be no further reductions, just directly to the acceleration. Correct, correct. Now, everything I'm sharing with you is in the QRH maneuver section, go around. QRH maneuver section, it's a yellow tab in the back of the book. And then you go to the go around. In that one picture, it has both the two engine and the one engine profile. Right now we're looking at the two engine. I'll take you through the single engine in just a second, but let's, let's tackle this one first. Okay, so I'm up at a thousand. I try to bug up and I go over here and look, there's nothing to put because the speed window's closed. You see that? I can't bug up. So this is what we refer to as auto acceleration. You remember before the lunch break, I said, we're going to talk about auto acceleration, two engine, blah, blah, blah. This is it. The airplane is going to accelerate automatically directly with the flap setting that you have. Now, what that means, let me share with this, this with you here real quick. Check this out. If I zoom this thing in here, see where my speed bug is at? Right now it's encapsulating the five, right? Okay. When I accelerate and I go to flaps five, we're at 15 right now. When I go to flaps five, watch that speed bug. You see how it jumped up? All by itself, okay? Now, if I go from five to one, see how it jumps up again? So it's gonna accelerate automatically. I left the flap panel at five now, but the flap speed, the bug speed is gonna accelerate automatically directly with flap handle position. This is, automatic acceleration it's only available with two engines on a go around you will not get this on takeoff you will only get it when toga is selected in flight with two engines okay well that sounds good so check this out now though because you're thinking okay why is joe hammering this in so much i'm going to share with you why let's say we're climbing out how many of you have done a, have done a go around for real Probably everybody. Okay. How many times have you done a go around and then the tower says, fly the published mist? More than likely, they're going to say, oh, we see you on the mist, fly runway heading 2000. Right? They're going to give you something else. I never did a go around for you. I mean, not with the seven chip. Yeah. Well, you, that, what you just said, G, is the very reason I'm beating this up because 
we don't, we always do takeoffs. We don't often do go arounds. And what happens is the call out on the go around at a thousand feet is different than the call out at a thousand feet on a takeoff. But because we never do them and they're never practiced, the call out gets screwed up and people revert back to what they always do, which is a takeoff, right? So on takeoff, the call out at a thousand was N1 bug up or N1 speed 210, whatever your company wants you to say, but basically it means climb through us and accelerate. That's what they're trying to get us to do, right? But on a go around, which we don't frequently do, the call out is flaps five, that's it. You move the flaps and you let the speed accelerate automatically. This is QRH maneuver section all day long. You can go check that out. I promise you it'll 